Today I'm going to be sharing an experiment with broccoli microgreens, growing them under two different lights. First, our cheap Barina LEDs that we suggest to everyone, and the second is the Relassi yellow panel LEDs, so stay tuned for the experiment. Broccoli light test day three. All right, y'all, so for this experiment, what I wanted to do was test out our yellow panel, relax, I always say our lights. They're not really our lights. They're lights that we just suggest. Uh, but they're ones that we have in our grow space. So these Relassi yellow paneled LED grow lights versus, we actually grow on this shelf down here, but it's gonna be hard to see, so I'll point over here. These are Barina T5 LEDs. We use three of these per shelf, which puts out about uh, 6,000 to 8,000 lumens per shelf. And these are what we suggest to most people, hence why we have an entire grow rack dedicated to just these lights. They do a great job with their growth, but we wanna test them out against some other grow lights. As per usual, we gotta keep testing. So let's go ahead and take a look at the growth here. These purple trays right here were the two trays that were grown underneath the Rolassi yellow paneled LED lights. And the two black bottom trays over here are the ones that were grown underneath the Barina T5 lights. Now at first glance, the first thing that I'm noticing is I really do like the mounding more on the two Barina groups because it is much more uniform looking. It's very nice and mounded, very uniform growth across the entire top of the tray versus I'm noticing on these uh, Relassi trays, there's a noticeable dip down in here in the middle, whereas the edges have a nice uh, kind of crazy extension where all these um, broccoli microgreens were really reaching for the light. Now the reason is uh, with these yellow paneled Relassi lights, which you can actually see right here with these marigolds are growing, the edge doesn't get nearly as much light as this middle section does. So what tends to happen with these Relassi lights is the middle section will stay a lot uh, shorter because it's getting really, really sufficient light almost a little bit too intense light in some situations, uh, whereas the edges aren't getting enough, so they'll do a, quite a bit of stretching. So that's why we're noticing this kind of uh, U-shape growth here in the uh, trays for the two Relassi groups. But one thing that uh, is a benefit of the Relassi is that the crop grows incredibly firm. I mean, these are very, um, one thing that you could do to kind of test how strong microgreens are is you can kind of just kind of flick them back and forth and see how quickly they reset to their original position and also the resistance that they provide against your hand when touching them. And these are very quite firm compared to um, my two Barina groups who are just a little bit looser. They don't feel as firm in the stems and they do take a little bit more time. You can see how much kind of just jiggle and wiggle they got versus these that just snap back and as soon as they get back in their position, they really firm up quite quickly. So that is one benefit that we notice out of the Relassi, and generally out of the Relassi groups too, we notice um, higher harvest weights sometimes, as well as more beautiful coloration sometimes, depending on the crops. An experiment that we did in the past was, was growing mostly underneath the Barina lights and then finishing underneath the Relassi lights. So we do like say seven days of growth underneath these two, these three Barina lights, and then finish for like one or two days underneath the Relassi group. And what we would notice is we were able to still get a lot of that great coloration that happens from the Relassi panel lights, uh, but with a cheaper cost and the more uniform growth of the Barina uh, lights. So that's one way of kind of playing with these lights. I just want to share that. If you guys haven't seen that video yet, it's a pretty cool one to check out. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into giving this video a thumbs up because it really does help out our channel. And if you guys are feeling extra generous, be sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bells. That way you guys get notified when new videos come out. Now let's go ahead and jump into harvesting these trays and we'll see what these guys look up up close. We'll compare some harvest weights, we'll taste a few, and we'll talk about all that here in just a second. So I'm gonna see you guys after I get harvesting.
Alrighty, so I have finished harvesting all four of the trays. Now let's go ahead and discuss the harvest weights. Starting with our Barina 3 lights, we had a harvest weight in one tray of 189 grams, and the second tray was 177 grams. That made our average 183 grams for the Barina side. Now as for the yellow paneled Relassi lights, one tray had a harvest weight of 189 grams, and the other tray had a harvest weight of 153 grams. So that made our harvest weight uh, average at 171 grams for the two, uh, for, for the, actually for the single yellow Relassi light. That makes the winner for overall harvest weight, the Barina T5 LEDs. Now let's go ahead and take a look at these crops up close and take a look at the appearance for both of these groups side by side. Mandy, if you would, pop off that camera and come over here. Okay, so taking a look at these groups, this side is our yellow paneled Relassi lights, and this group, these two groups over here, are our uh, Barina T5 LEDs. Right off the bat, I'm noticing a lot more coloration in the stems of the Relassi yellow paneled LEDs, as well as some really, really gorgeous undersides of the cotyledons that have this deep, deep purple that we're not really seeing at all from the Barina side. Now, this Barina side is a little bit wilted. I had to do some calculations, and within those few minutes of me doing the calculations, you see how quickly these wilted <clears throat> compared to the Barina side, or sorry, the yellow paneled Relassi side, which has stayed a little bit firmer. I think that is because this crop does stay a little bit firmer with that more intense light. Uh, so that's something to notice right there. So again, winner and overall appearance for this group, I'm gonna choose the yellow paneled Relassis because of number one, just that deep, deep purple underneath those cotyledons. It is absolutely gorgeous. I really do love it, but it does come up with a trade-off. The top of these, uh, the cotyledons for the yellow paneled Relassi groups are a lot more uh, mild in their coloration. They're le a lot less green. Uh, the cotyledons on the Barina side do feel a lot deeper in their greens, meaning potentially more chlorophyll. I'm not sure exactly. Now it's hard to do an exact science on that without doing some more uh, like crazy, crazy science and testing. So again, winner and overall appearance is going to be the yellow paneled Relassi trays. All right, and on to the last stage, stage, which, which is a taste test. Now I'm just gonna quickly taste one from each group, or one sample, I should say, from each group. So starting off with these yellow paneled Relassi LEDs. Again, I'm just loving the color on those. Wow. So the flavor is really nice on the yellow paneled Relassis. However, I am noticing uh, it's very fibrous. It's like, um, it's almost like the stalk of asparagus if you don't break it at the right points, where it's too chewy and the woodiness really sticks around in your mouth, uh, making it hard to kind of go away. In fact, I don't really want to swallow it. I can see it right here. I chewed it, chewed out all the flavor, super tasty, um, but I don't, it's like hard for my body to want to swallow that super fibrousness to it. It's almost like really grassy how not chewy it can be. So let me get some coffee here because uh, coffee is good for refreshing the palate. And whoo, these on the grow mugs are freaking awesome. I don't know if you guys are iced coffee drinkers like we are, but I love these mugs because it keeps the ice cold all day. All right, now on to taste testing the Barina. My mouth is watering like crazy from that coffee now. Okay, now as for the Barina group, it was very chewy, uh, definitely wasn't nearly as woody as the, um, the Relastic groups were, but did have a nice chew to it. It stuck around long enough to really enjoy the flavors. It felt crunchy, even though you now this product had clearly wilted just a little bit and had lost a little bit of that vibrancy over the time it took me to do the calculations for the um, lights energy draw. Uh, so I really do like the flavor on them. And I would prefer these groups to the Relassi just because Again, it felt chewy, but not too chewy that I was like overly having to really crunch through these things. Winner in overall harvest weight is the Barina LEDs. Winner in appearance is the Relassi LEDs. As for the winner of taste, it is going to be the Barina LEDs as well. So the overall winner for this experiment, I'm gonna choose the Barina T5s. They just do an incredible job <laughs> at growing these things. I love the uniform growth across the entire tray, which means the product was a lot more uniform. Something on the Relassi side is you're gonna have mixed uh, tall and short, there's gonna be some that are a little bit chewier and some that are a little less chewy uh, versus on the Barinas where it's just like a solid, very even growth throughout. So as I stated earlier with the Barinas, what you could do is you can grow these for several days or the majority of the grow, about 90% or 95% of the way through the grow underneath the Barinas and then polish them off underneath the Relassis. That way you get that like maybe pop of color underneath the cotyledons and things like that, more color in the stems. Uh, so there is a way to benefit for both of these lights at the same time if you do have both of these or you feel like investing in 
one of these uh, in addition to the Brinas that you might already have. If I was gonna suggest an overall light for anyone to buy, it'd be the Brina T5, 20 watt LEDs. They just do a great job, again, at always providing us with super solid growth, which is why this entire rack is Barina T5 so that we can do other experiments like soil, nutrient trials, and stuff like that. Which leads me into my next point. If you guys are really curious about getting a lot more information about growing, be sure to check out our book, Becoming a Microgreen Master, which has everything that we've learned over the past two and a half years of growing microgreens, all the nutrients, experiments, and everything that we've done. We try to compress all of that into a single book. So be sure to check that out if you guys are interested. I think that's it. Oh, I need to talk about costs. Uh, so let's talk about the cost of what these lights consume. So the uh, two yellow paneled lights consume Boop, boop, boop. Uh, 0.9809 kilowatts per day at our 17 hours on, seven hour off schedule, which means they draw 57.7 watts and pull 0.46 amps. Each light only shines down on two trays, which means our cost per day for a single light for the two trays is 12 cents per day. For the entire 12 days that these were underneath the lights, that is at $1.44 for the two trays. So it's around 72 cents uh, for their each single tray. As for the Burina T5 LEDs, these consume 0.9945 kilowatts per day at the 17 hours on, seven hour off schedule. And that is because all three of these lights draw 58.5 watts and pull 0.48 amps. That is for four full trays though. So we get two more additional trays out of the same exact energy usage that we're getting out of the uh, Relassi side, which means that our cost per two trays per day is six cents. So the entire cost for the two trays over the 12 day duration is 72 cents. So again, if you go down to the single tray, that's around 30, what, 5.5 cents per tray. Um, so that's uh, again, a lot more affordable on the Barina side. But again, overall, I mean, a buck 44 compared to 72 cents, the costs are really, really similar, but over an entire year of growing, that will add up. And especially if you have lots of racks, with a lot of these lights going on at the same time. I prefer the Barinas, but again, there's a lot of benefit to be had with those Relassis. There's a lot of fun ways that you can use them, such as adding that color in right at the end of the process. So I do highly recommend playing around with that or checking out our video that we do that so you can get some ideas of whether or not you wanna invest in a more intense light to polish off your microgreens under. That's it for this video, guys. <laughs> That is it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, give us a thumbs down. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below. If you'd like to follow us on Instagram or Facebook, it is at Farms, and our website is www.onthegrow.net. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day and keep on believing.